Well, as we go through uh, looking at different ways to utilize Android and as we're building and compiling, one of the big things that we need to work with is source code. And we typically end up doing that on either GitHub or GitLab. Previously, I'd made a video series covering how to uh, utilize GitHub, but uh, unfortunately the quality was pretty low of the recording. And so I'd like to redo that, but also include how to utilize GitLab in the process as well. So we're going to be covering quite a few things related to how to use GitHub, GitLab, how we can um, upload, download, uh, and uh, move source code around, how we can do that from the command line, from the web interface, and also from a third-party tool, like in this case we're going to use uh, Git Kraken as well. So lots of fun stuff that we can uh, learn here. Hopefully this will be helpful to those of you who are new to utilizing Git, GitHub, uh, and GitLab. So just a, a quick note. Uh, typically, most of the information you need for utilizing Android up till now has been on GitHub. There is a little bit of a shift from GitHub to GitLab. Some people are jumping ship from GitHub, uh, particularly after the purchase of GitHub by Microsoft. And so there are those that are uh, concerned about that. Um, you can see for myself, uh, you know, my uh, use of GitHub has pretty much stopped in June and uh, started in GitLab in June forward. Um, this, I point this out not to get into the politics of whether the purchase by Microsoft was good or bad, but to point out that the information you're looking for may not be where you're looking. Uh, you may be looking at some information that was put on GitHub that now newer information exists on GitLab, or you may be uh, searching on GitLab for something and unable to find it because the source code you need is on GitHub. So I just want you to be aware of that and to keep those in mind. So let's uh, let's get started. Here we have uh, GitHub.com. I'm logged in right now as a user. It's uh, free to sign up and uh, really is a great system. Um, there are some principal differences between GitHub and GitLab, which I am logged into GitLab right here. Also free to sign up for and a very great system to use as well. Um, both of them you can see here just sort of like the home page for the user. Uh, you can see what, uh, what the user has been up to, how many commits they have made every particular day. Uh, for instance, on this particular day I made 22 contributions, but only one contribution on this day. Likewise, same thing over on Git, uh, GitHub. You have the darker and lighter squares that tell you how many uh, commits essentially you've been making. Uh, one principal difference is the GitHub. These lighter and darker squares are not specific numbers, but rather um, just more or less. So on days that you typically do less, uh, you're going to have a lighter square days you typically do more you have a darker square so what it's comparing is towards your normal status so if you usually only make one commit a day then a commit where you do four commits in a day would be really dark square uh, over here on git lab these are actual specific numbers so light squares are 1 through 9 and then 10 through 19 20 through 29 and finally 30 plus contributions are extremely dark squares so there is a little bit of difference when you look at these just want you to be aware of that what does this really tell you not a whole lot but it does help if you're looking at uh, another user and you want to see if they're still active or not. Uh, you can kind of see that they've been doing a lot of code or maybe not doing any at all. So uh, just something to be aware of when you're looking at that. Um, setting up your profile is uh, super easy. It's just a step-by-step -step process that starts with the the uh, register or sign in button and it will ask you to create an account and you can get set up uh, pretty fast. I'm not going to cover things like, you know, changing your profile picture or setting up your, um, you know, bio. Those are pretty straightforward and if you've used a computer for any length of time on the internet, uh, I'm sure you can um, 
finagle your way through that. So let's get started with uh, how we do something. <laughs> 